Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Digicel has appointed David Lomas as its Group Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Lomas joins the Jamaica headquartered telecoms group from British company Spire Healthcare, where he held the same role. Digicel's owner, Dennis O'Brien, said, as the company focuses on growing Digicel for the future, David's broad finance, commercial and operational expertise, coupled with his deep knowledge of the telecoms and tele technology sectors, will be instrumental in delivering the firm's ambitions. The Jamaica Chamber of Commerce, JCC, is questioning whether the issues outlined in the Auditor General's special report on PCJ and Petrojam could exist in other public bodies. As a result, it is calling for the corporate governance framework for public bodies to be embodied in law with the appropriate sanctions for breaches. The JCC is also insisting that persons responsible for the flagrant misuse of public funds should never again be deemed fit to take up any future office where they will have similar responsibility for the expenditure of public funds. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $127.85. The Canadian dollar closed at $94.14. The pound is being sold for $163.61, while the euro is going for $146.56 on average. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in January went down by $1.23 to settle at $51.72 a barrel. The JSE index lost 10,018 points today, while the junior market index is up by two points. Among those posting gains were AMG Packaging and Paper, Verita Investments, Derriman Trading, Epley, General Accident Insurance, Indies Pharma, Jamaica Stock Exchange, and Kingston Wharves. Among the losers were 1834 Investments, Cargo Handlers, Elite Diagnostic, Fosrich, Jamaica Broilers, Key Insurance, Laska Distributors, Mayberry Investments, and NCB Financial Group. And that's the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.